Now that everybody, stand from home for uh, should really be uh, resting a bit, I think. But you know, ain't got many weeks left for this uh, body space competition, so really got to up my game, make up for all those binges I've been doing. Anyway, let's get into the uh, the talking bollocks on the bike for this week. This. Uh, Got some good questions this week actually. It's probably gonna be a couple of parts. <coughs> this one's from Joe Green on the Facebook page. Let's zoom in. Question for talking about on the bank. Would you rather be stuck in open water with one great white shark and a spear or take your chances in open water in a broken diving cage, drifting away from your boat with three great white sharks and no spear? Thanks. <laughs> well, let's be honest here. If you're stuck in open water, even if you're stuck in a cage, you've got to make your way back to your boat or, well, you can't stay in open water for the rest of your life, so you've got to make your way back. So a cage isn't really going to do you any favours anyway, because you need to leave it. Uh, if you haven't got a weapon, you're pretty much screwed, aren't you, let's be honest. And three against one, it's never good odds. So, I'd we'll have to say spear and the one shark. And I'd have to hope I can get lucky and just stab a lot of the shark before I shit myself or get eaten. So, there you go, shark and a spear, I think. Anybody that would take three sharks on with no weapon, whew, that's some hardcore shit right there. Do you that question, mate? Is uh, was an interesting one. Right, this one's from Mr. Ed123456789010. He's asked a question before. Um, do you think Samato types, Samato types, Samato, Samato, are overrated? And do you think that people read into their body types too frequently, which might cause them to follow poor advice? Cheers, mate. Keep the quality of it coming. Uh, for me personally, I never really looked into the whole thing about ectomorphs, mesomorphs, endomorphs, and all that stuff. Mainly because I just, it was never something that bothered me. Um, you're right in what you're saying. I think people can read too much into anything, really. Uh, rather than sticking with the grassroots and the basics, you start overcomplicating things by really getting into other things and overcomplicating it, you know. And you bring more things into the mix and you you end up distancing yourself from the initial um, the initial problem or case like say if you're overweight and you're trying to trying to get low body fat and that you might you might get yourself in the right on the right path by uh, sorting your diet out doing some exercise and you find that you start to lose weight and things are going all right and then someone turns on to you and says something like oh you shouldn't be eating like that, or you shouldn't be doing those type of exercises. You're a, you're an endomorph. You should be doing this, and you should be eating this, and you shouldn't be doing that. Now that person that has been doing really well and has been seeing results would then go off and be like, oh, "I wonder what what they mean by all this," and start reading into things about the different uh, body types, and they would then start thinking things like, "Oh yeah, maybe they're right. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do this," and then, or maybe. Maybe I, I need to be easier on myself because oh, I've got this type of body type, so it's harder for me. Or, or like with people that can't gain weight, those say, "Oh, I'm an ectomorph. It's just I'm, it's it's hard hard work for me because I'm an ectomorph. It's I'm just a hard gainer. I can't gain weight. Oh, I eat loads. I eat loads, but I just can't gain weight. It's because I'm an ectomorph. You you mesomorphs and endomorphs, you've got it easy. Blah blah blah. Really, just stick to the basics. Eating. You want to gain weight? Eat more. Train hard. If you're not gaining weight, eat more. If you're still not gaining weight, eat more. I mean, unless you've got a serious underlying medical issue where you just cannot grow from some from some reason, then there is no reason why you won't, whether you're an ectomorph or not. You will gain weight. So, I mean, I've said this to before to a kid I know he's asking said he wanted to gain some weight and I said well how much do you eat and he and it's obviously that it always comes down to this oh, I eat loads I eat loads 
and then you sit there and you say well talk me through a day of what you eat and they say oh, I eat this I eat that and it comes back and they might probably eat about 2,200 calories a day and you're like ah, I cut on that you know you don't even you're not eating as much as you think you are you might need 3,000 calories you might need 4 or 5 you might even need 6,000 calories a day to grow do you know I mean I wish I did bloody hell I look at food and uh, I grow a pair of tits but I just uh, like I say I think you're right you've hit, hit the nail on the head there when you say people overthink too many things I think this applies to a lot of things in this uh, hobby because that's what it is for most people uh, people get into it quite seriously I mean I myself am very serious about what I do but at the same time I don't deep uh, I don't sit and read uh, like I said, I don't, I don't read too far into it. I just know that if I get up, I eat, train, sleep, and I do this consistently every week, that I'm going to see results. I won't like start thinking of how many milligrams of creatine should I take. Like, should it be 3.2 or 3.6? 5 gram, 5.2, 5.7, 6 grams of creatine for that optimal result. I don't fucking look into all that shit because I just think... Once you've found what is working, you stick at it, you know. Obviously, like we've said before, um, trial and error is a long-winded way of doing it, a long process. But for many people, that's a way how you learn yourself. Rather than being spoon-fed other people's information, you can you just figure things out as you go along. Obviously, that's not the most optimal way of doing things, as if you already know certain guidelines, you can follow them first. But, yeah, so... Without going on too much, like I already have, I would agree with you that I think that the body types, somatotypes, somatotypes, types, however you want to uh, call them, I think they are a little bit overrated, to be honest. Want to lose weight, eat less, and do more. You want to gain weight, do less, eat more. Oh, you know what I mean. It's that's all it really comes down to, to be honest. So, cheers for that question, mate. Uh, it's quite a good one to cover. Um, what time are we on? Yeah, I think we'll go for part two, so I'm not uploading a massive file because I keep getting uh, raped by the ISP over my uploads. Boo. So anyway, part two coming up. <laughs>